Hi guys, welcome back to video 10 of our ethnic series. In video 9, we had created our tint and our shade of our blush that we wanted to use to start our base layers of blushing. We only had time to do Zippy's head last time, so today we're going to focus on working on Zippy's arms and legs. All right, so you can see Zippy's already building some really nice color in through here. So today I want to start off with doing some of the base on the lighter shades. So I'm going to start with this soft peachy pink. I'm going to go over the fingertips and I'm using just a small brush. Use whatever brush you're comfortable with. I like to use a brush that has a little bit smaller bristles, more of a flat edge. Mm, kind of hard to move this little guy's hands around. And through those edges. If you get it on the nail bed, it's okay, don't don't worry, it's not a big deal. I am choosing more of a softer hue, softer pink, uh, to do the base of his blushing because his photos kind of represent a little bit more towards that natural color. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the palms of his hands. I suppose I could switch out my brush. This one's a really good one. Um, this this one, one is more like a round, uh, a round brush, round tip. It's a nice brush to use with those bigger areas. And it's okay, don't worry about creases right now. We're just getting the very beginning stages. Just gonna put a little bit above his wrist, right in through here because we're gonna do more darker shading in the bottom there. Using a dry brush, just softening that out a bit. Just kinda of doing this underside. And I'm doing right along the creases on the inside of the arm. More of a larger area, we're not concentrating on a small area. I'm going to do just on elbow here, kind of under the elbow a little bit, along that wrist through here. So I'm using a stippling motion and then as I apply the color, then I am kind of pouncing it off. See how translucent it is? It really is a, a light color. It's not very heavy. I'm going to go in right up through here. We're going to bring this around. And I'm going to keep going with this blushing just at the top of the crease the top of the wrist. And go up here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the flange. Very soft base, not too shocking, even though it looks like there's a lot of pigment in our dish. You can see how nice and translucent it really is. I'm gonna keep going on. I'm just gonna do the, the lighter shade first and then I can go back and we will build up the darker shade. I'm gonna go in through the palms of his hands and the tips of his fingers. I'm gonna go over the tops of the fingers, drawing it out kind of away from the edge you end up getting it on the nail, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go over the tops of the fingers. 
I'm gonna go just a below, I'm gonna say just below the crease on the wrist. And I'm gonna go just above it a little bit, right through here. Drawing that around. the underside of the arm. Just do this light pouncing. I go in through this area. You're applying the color about a quarter to an eighth inch away from the actual crease. So you have a little bit more space around the crease. Don't encroach in on that crease really closely. You want it just softly. We're going to go over that elbow. Draw that down a little bit. The other brush I like to do is our bigger kabuki brush when we are doing the larger areas. Go right around the wrist here. I know it feels like you're you're doing a lot or everything, but really you're not, even though it seems like it. Then I'm going to do the flange. See how nice and subtle it is? I mean, it's so soft that it just picks up the softest hue. We're going to go over the bottom of the foot. Just going to go ahead and paint that on. Don't be afraid, just apply the whole foot. The toes. got a little bit more of a, a bump or a fatty um, top portion of his foot so I'm gonna emphasize that just a little bit and I'm gonna put a little blush blushing just on the top up here and I'm gonna go right by that crease just a tiny bit we're gonna go over where your ankle bone or his ankle bone would be kind of right in that vicinity and or around the ankle Go in the back, just between those creases. I'm gonna go above this crease through here. And we're gonna soften that out a bit. I'm gonna go in behind the knee. Basically what my blushing is doing, it's mimicking the blood flow under the skin but we don't want it to be like really red because this is such a soft layer we are still at the very kind of beginning of it so we want it to be very translucent and build it up slowly going over the entire knee go in between these creases and behind the knee you can do however much or little you want. I'm going to pounce that out a little bit. Taking our dry brush, just pouncing it out a bit to soften that. I'm really liking that. That looks really good. I'm trying to do it on the paper towel so you can see the contrast. I'm going to go through the bottom of the foot. Just getting a little bit smaller brush so we can go over the tops of the toes between those creases. If you get it on the nail, like I said, don't worry. So go over that knee. I'm going to go on the top of that foot again. This is still that light 
shade of blushing to refresh your memory. If you want to lighten up a color to create a lighter tint, that's where you're adding your white. And I will use titanium white, snowflake white. You know, it doesn't have to be pure white. It just, it's up to you. If you want to be creative and just make it something that is your own. You can see all the colors that I have here. And these colors are just colors that kind of result from trying to mix other colors. So I'm constantly taking maybe a color from this palette and putting it on that palette or a color on that palette and putting it on this palette. I'm making the paints. I'm making those colors. I'm going in between those creases right there, but I'm not going really close to the inside of the the knee because I want to go in with a smaller brush. So I got a little bit more of a narrow brush right through here. I'll go right through up here. see how nice that color is building. You can see the difference between the, the flange and the limb itself. So we've come a long way. It's looking good. While we're here, I'm going to do another coat on our head, but I'm going to go in and do a little bit more accentuating. So I'm going to go do the outside of the ear. Okay, I'm going to do that tapping motion behind the ear. I'm going to go in the ear, just at the edge, just kind of going in right at the corner, right inside here, because it's a little bit more of an open area, so it's going to reflect that light a little bit more, so it's going to be more of that brighter, lighter shade, where the darker blushing is going to be more for those areas that are recessed that we're going to see more depth in. Looking at our sweet little baby here, I'm going to go in with a little bit more right in the forehead here. I'm going to go right underneath the eye. I'm not bringing it all the way to the center of the nose because this baby has a little bit more of a lighter bridge on his face and more shadow or shading in through the inner portion of the eye. And we're gonna go just at the corner there and on the edge of his nose. And I'm gonna go right at the underside of that little bubble on his nose and on the nostril, but not down the center. And I'm going to hit that top lip I'm not bringing it down all the way, just at the top of the chin. I'm going to take a little bit of a darker shade. Go in through here. Probably should go a little bit smaller brush. Dry brush that out. I'm going to go right inside the ear. We want to create more of that depth right inside here. Going just above the lighter shade on the lip, kind of towards the inside portion of the lip, but not all the way. up underneath the lip. It's got a little bit more darker areas through here. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to let this flash and we'll see where we're at after that. All right, now that we've got our base blushing applied using the lightest tint, I am going to do a little bit of highlighting with our yellow. Yellow can be applied anytime. A lot of people will like to do their undertones before they get started putting their layers down. I kind of bounce all over the place, so you need to just decide what you feel like doing. It's There is no correct way, it's just your way. So the yellow that I've got mixed up here, I've got my darker yellow, and then I wanted to lighten the yellow by adding our white, kind of making a lighter, paler tint of yellow. And I ended up getting too much white in there, so I neutralized it a tiny bit with black. That yellow is a little bit cooler. So I ended up going back in and getting more of my yellow, which I use one of these guys. These are awesome for picking up color to moving it around. So I'll just kind of suck up some of my color, add it to a dish, and then pick up color from another dish and add it to it, so on and so forth. I love those. I'll put those in the description. However, this one I ended up putting the yellow down first and then I added the white, which was the correct way to do it because then you can control how light of a tint that you end up creating. So I want to use this color more so than the other two. I'm just going to turn that and get that out of the way. All right, so with the yellow, there's a few key areas that you want to apply the yellow to. Let me get my brush and I'm finally gonna break out this one this one is a shadow brush actually this this company no longer exists but this is another makeup brush that I'm gonna use as an applicator I can put a very similar link into the description if you're looking for something more like this this yellow I can tell you when I originally mixed this yellow I had used one part yellow and two parts thinner. I ended up originally taking the yellow from my washes. The two washes, red, yellow, and blue, are a ratio of one part color to three parts thinner with a couple drops of baby oil. This one is one part color to two parts thinner. So it's a lot more of a brighter consistency and so I will usually will take color from my other jars and then I will add my thinning medium to it. In order to create this yellow, I recommend doing one part pigment to one part thinning medium with a few drops of baby oil. In order to get it to be more of a pale yellow, that I had picked up some of our original color put it in the well and added a little bit of white using our little squeegee. And that's kind of how I got this color. So that color is going to be used in key areas that we want to accentuate or bring out highlighting effects. Once I get this yellow down, I'm going to let this flash and then I'm going to go ahead and bake this cutie pie. So with the yellow, I want to go at the top of the nose and the bridge. And I'm going to go top of the cheeks through here. I'm going to go eyebrow, the bone. I'm going to go just at the top of the chin in the inside ridge of the ear. And then I'm gonna go kinda underneath a little bit. Yellow is a color that will represent your cartilage or fat tissue. So think of it that way. You can apply it wherever you want to create a little bit more of a highlight. And it's so incredibly subtle that you probably can't really see a, a much of a difference right on the camera right now because I want it very, very, very subtle. I don't want it really shocking. Using my dry brush, I'm just getting those edges 
blend it out. I'm going to use a little bit of my yellow. Got to open up my photo. I'm going to go on the bottom lip right in the center. I'm going to go right on the edge of the top. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. The arm I am going to do, and I'm going to kind of pounce this on so I can get in there, the fat pads between the creases. I'm going to go right in through here. I'm going to go just above here and below. Above where we put down our original shading on that crease area, just above the crease and below where we did our lightest shading. this area here, right between those areas that we did our base blushing. I'm going to go in just underneath here. For the leg, I'm going to go where that ankle bone would be. I'm going to go just on top here. So we're basically kind of going between the areas that we just put our base blushing on. I'm going to do the same thing, top of the foot, tops of the toes, ankle bone, kind of right on the calf area. Looking for those areas that are a little bit more higher, more fatty more cartilage. I'm going to use my other brush. Pounce it out. I'm going to go a little bit on the toe there. I'm going to go inside the toe. Okay. Alright guys, this was a pretty easy one wasn't too crazy difficult so hopefully you had some fun just painting today now that we're done with our base layer of the lightest blushing and we did a tiny bit of our highlighting with our yellow we're gonna let that flash then I'm gonna go back and bake that at 265 for eight minutes after it's com been completely cooled we'll move on to the next layer so again thanks for watching you guys i hope you're having fun you're picking up something new or maybe it's sparking some ideas that you didn't think about before make sure you let me know what you guys think of the videos what you'd like to see more of or maybe not so much and i will see you guys all again soon so if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that and hit that little bell so you get notified when those next videos come out Thanks again, you guys. I will be seeing you soon.